So I'm here with my dad and he has actually taken the gas motor off of his log splitter and replaced it with a five horse 220 electric motor. And uh, this thing actually splits just as well as it did. Uh, I would better. say better. better and it's quiet. So uh, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to give you a close up in a second, but why don't we just run it through the paces and uh, see what it does. So with an electric motor, you don't have to pull it. You don't have to put oil. You don't have to put gas in it. You just flip the switch. Pretty done. nice. Just turn it off. <laughs> Pretty nice. We have some super strut that you welded and a piece of large angle onto. Yep, just the angle iron. Bolted that down, yep. added yep. added a switch. switch. How many amp switch is that? That's a 30 amp. You got 30 amp. 220 switch. Switch, and this is just on off. The reason why I used the super strut was that that allowed me to have adjustment up and down on the motor and and the the holes that are drilled for this to mount it on there are a little big so it allowed a little adjustment because you have to get the Lovejoy connection really lined up perfectly. Yeah, and that's right down in here yeah. on the end of that shaft. That's what connects the motor to the pump. Connecting. This is the stock pump. Yep, that's the pump. And so this is just spinning it straight through and uh, you use all the other stuff. Yep. It's actually it. way simpler. It is. It's way simpler. Now, for myself, I take my log splitter out in the woods and I like the mobility. And this, you have to have a cord on it. But besides that, I like this. This thing is it's a 22-ton Husky log splitter. Just converted to electricity with a five-horse pump, a switch, and a, con and a connector. That's it. That's it. Right through. This is nice. That one too big. I'm split again. That's alright. So we're actually we're cutting this and having a conversation. Yeah. And neither one of us is shouting. And don't have ear, don't ear have, protection. And we don't have ear protection in. Yep. So this is the bucket that keeps the motor clean. You got some what do you got in there? You got some some foam oh yeah that was uh to insulate it a little to make it a little quieter but oh, it didn't really do very not much. really no no needs a little bit more yeah but that is to keep all the particles from you falling in there another. that's just improvised little dust shield yep. nice yep. <clears throat> and to make the to make the switch waterproof Got another Piece bucket. Range, you put a little bucket over it. There you go. <laughs> Your bucket ingenuity. <laughs> so that worked really well. I'm impressed. If my motor goes out on my log splitter, I'm going to get one of those and replace it because I don't really like to be pulling and gassing and dealing with bad gas and all that kind of stuff. And I'll just bring my logs to it. Um, this is very impressive. I think it's a great job. Good job. And Thank you. <laughs> And all the products are going to be linked in the description, so check it out. And check this one out right here for some other cool ideas. Take care.